Welcome to the show, grabbing attention right away. We're thrilled to have you here with us today. This show is all about engaging, inspiring, and educating you on how to make your content truly stand out. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the show. It's fantastic to see so many eager faces ready to learn and grow. Today, we're going to dive deep into the art of captivating your audience from the very first word. Today, we're diving into something really important, making your writing pop. Whether you're crafting a blog post, scripting a video, or even composing an email, the key is to keep your readers or viewers hooked from the get-go. Whether it's a blog post, a video script, or even an email, keeping people hooked is key. Think about it. In today's fast-paced world, attention spans are shorter than ever. You have just a few seconds to grab someone's attention and make them want to stick around. Think of it like our show. We put a lot of effort into making sure our opening moments are engaging and exciting. We want you to feel that spark of curiosity and excitement right from the start. You turn on the TV and bam, you're immediately drawn in by the energy, the visuals and the promise of something interesting. That's the kind of impact you want your writing to have. You need to be interested right away, right? It's all about creating that initial connection, that moment where your audience thinks, wow, I need to know more about this. That's what we're aiming for. We want to help you master the techniques that will make your introductions irresistible. Whether you're writing for a blog, a video, or any other medium, just like a great opening monologue, a strong section intro sets the stage. It gives your audience a taste of what's to come and why they should care. It's your chance to hook them in and make them want to stay for the whole journey. It tells your audience what's coming and why they should care. A well-crafted introduction can make all the difference in whether your audience stays engaged or tunes out. So, how do we make those intros shine? Let's get into it. We'll explore various techniques, from crafting compelling headlines to using storytelling elements that draw people in. By the end of this episode, you'll have a toolkit of strategies to make your writing pop and keep your audience coming back for more. Lights, camera, section intro. Welcome to the art of crafting compelling section introductions. All right, let's talk section intros. These are the gateways to your content, the first impression that sets the tone for what's to come. These are your mini headlines, your chance to grab attention again and again. Think of them as the hooks that reel your audience in, keeping them engaged and curious. First things first, keep it short and snappy. A concise introduction is like a breath of fresh air, making your audience eager to dive deeper. No one wants to wade through a paragraph to figure out what you're talking about. Long-winded intros can be a turnoff, causing your readers to lose interest before they even begin. Second, use strong verbs and exciting language. Dynamic words create a sense of action and urgency, making your content feel alive and compelling. Instead of this section we'll discuss, how about, let's uncover or get ready to discover. These phrases spark curiosity and anticipation drawing your audience in. And here's a secret. Tease what's coming. A little mystery goes a long way in keeping your audience hooked. Give a little hint, a little nugget of information that makes them crave more. This technique builds suspense and keeps your readers on the edge of their seats. Intrigued? You bet you are. When you master the art of the section intro, you create a seamless flow that guides your audience through your content effortlessly. Let's move on to the next step questions. Questions are powerful tools that engage your audience, prompting them to think and interact with your content. By posing thought-provoking questions, you invite your readers to explore the topic with you, creating a sense of collaboration and discovery. Remember, a well-crafted section intro not only sets the stage, but also paves the way for a deeper understanding and connection with your audience. So, take your time, be creative, and make every section intro count. Your audience will thank you for it. Ready to create some amazing section intros? Let's get started and make your content shine. With these tips in mind, you're well on your way to captivating your audience from the very first line. Happy writing. And remember, the power of a great section intro lies in its ability to connect, engage, and inspire. Let's make every word count. Asking the right questions. It's like a conversation, you know what I love? A good conversation. There's something magical about the back and forth exchange of ideas, the way thoughts flow and evolve. It's not just about talking, it's about connecting, understanding and exploring new perspectives. And that's what we want to create in our writing too. 
We want our readers to feel like they're part of a dynamic dialogue, not just passive recipients of information. Writing should be an interactive experience where readers feel engaged and involved. Asking questions throughout your sections is like throwing a ball back and forth. It's a way to keep the momentum going to keep the energy alive. When you ask a question, it's like tossing the ball to your reader, inviting them to catch it and throw it back with their own thoughts and reflections. It keeps your readers engaged and makes them feel like they're part of the journey. They become active participants, not just spectators. This engagement is crucial because it makes the content more memorable and impactful. But not just any questions. The questions you ask need to be meaningful and relevant. They should challenge your readers, make them think deeply, and encourage them to explore new ideas. We want thought-provoking ones, questions that spark curiosity and make them ponder. These are the questions that lead to deeper understanding and insight. They should open doors to new possibilities and perspectives. For example, instead of, do you like social media? Try, what impact do you think social media has on our lives? See the difference. The first question is simple and straightforward, but the second one invites deeper reflection and discussion. It encourages your readers to think about the broader implications and effects of social media. Now you can't just leave them hanging with these questions. You need to provide some context, some background information that helps them understand the significance of the question. This way, they can engage with it more meaningfully and thoughtfully. And remember, the goal is to create a conversation, a dialogue that enriches both you and your readers. So, next time you're writing, think about how you can incorporate questions that invite your readers to join the conversation. Make them feel like they're part of the process, like their thoughts and opinions matter. This approach not only makes your writing more engaging, but also more impactful and memorable. In the end, it's all about connection. A good conversation, whether spoken or written, is about building bridges between people, sharing ideas, and growing together. So, let's make our writing a conversation worth having. Answers, please. Keeping the flow going. We asked our questions, got those brains working. Now, it's time to deliver. Before you jump into your next section, take a moment to address the question you posed. Share your insights, your experiences, your perspective. This creates a natural flow, a satisfying rhythm to your writing. It's like a dance, moving gracefully from one point to the next. Remember, it's all about connection. Answering those questions shows your readers that you're listening, that you value their engagement. Speaking of connection, Let's talk about how this all ties together. Section 5. You get a technique and you get a technique. So, we've covered section intros and questions. But here's the thing, it's not just about using these techniques in isolation. It's about weaving them together, creating a tapestry of engagement that keeps your audience captivated from beginning to end. Think of it like a recipe. Each ingredient is important. But it's the combination, the balance, that creates something truly delicious. And just like a good talk show needs more than just words, your writing can benefit from some visual spice. Section 6. But wait, there's more. The power of visuals. You know what they say? A picture is worth a thousand words. Adding visuals to your writing is like adding those surprise celebrity guests to our show. They break up the monotony, add visual interest, and make things more memorable. Think images, infographics, even emojis. Anything that can help bring your words to life and make them more engaging. But visuals are just one piece of the puzzle. Section 7. It's all about connection, building a community. At the end of the day, it all boils down to connection. We want to create content that resonates with people, that makes them feel seen and heard. And how do we do that? by being ourselves, by sharing our authentic voices, and by inviting others to do the same. Asking questions, especially in the comments section, is a powerful way to foster that sense of community. It encourages dialogue, sparks conversation, and creates a space for shared learning and growth. So, are you ready to put all this into action? Section eight, lights, camera, action putting it all together. 
We've covered a lot today, but I hope you're feeling energized and inspired to take your writing to the next level. Remember, it's all about grabbing attention